Love you. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. It's me, Aaron Z. Lee, with you today on a Thursday, June 25th, 2020. So it's no longer uh, Wesley Watercolor Wednesday. It is now Wesley Watercolor... Thursday, I'm going to be coloring my original character, Wesley the Robot. Issue number three just got printed from the Port City Copy Center here in Oswego, New York. Printed on some really nice brown parchment paper on the inside so it's got that nice old-school look all this nice uh, interior uh, what do they call it uh, slides plates something like that I was just watching the documentary on uh, Batman the animated series and they were talking title cards there it is so I'm gonna do some custom title cards for each chapter I'm working on title cards for chapters 1 and 2 so it'll be in the collected edition but there's an example of some of the art in here doing some nine panel grids classic some six panel grids a little bit about bees a little bit about coffee a lot of fun so I uh, have created uh, Wesley the robot was one of my main characters you can check him out and more stuff at pensandpedals.com I've also created a, a Pizza's pizza uh, the son of a pizza man the human son of a living pizza has to fight evil anchovies and save Oswego New York pretty much all right so I know we're jumping around uh, you can find more more stuff about me on uh, in my Instagram at Pens and Pedals. That's me, Aaron Z. Lee. PensandPedals.com. It's a Q&A art stream. We're going to be doing some more watercolor with Wesley. This is for the Oswego Comic Shop, where I just was down there a little bit dropping off the new number three. So those are available at the comic shop. And I picked up some new comics for this week. Just want to show you guys what I'm reading. 
some uh, that Texas blood. I'm not sure what this is about yet, but it is illustrated by the son of Sean Phillips, Jacob Phillips. Who Sean Phillips is one of my favorite illustrators, so I got to check out what his son is up to. And this is the variant cover by Sean Phillips, so pretty cool. And uh, I didn't even know this thing was coming out, but this is uh, a book called Sleeping Beauties, uh, written by Stephen King and Owen King, and illustrated by. Alison Sampson, who is an amazing illustrator from the UK. She also illustrated uh, Winnebago Graveyard with Steve Niles, and that is uh, one of the best looking books you can find around, I think. I really like her work a lot. So that's those are some of the things I picked up for as far as new comics. I'm always looking in their dollar bin for some buried treasure. So I found some uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen stuff. Not sure what to expect, but they looked cool. I liked kind of the different format of the covers. I hear good things about Little Bird. Found something in there. I'm going to check that out. Martin suggested uh, Love and Capes, and I found that back in there. Got to check that out. Kind of like a situation comedy superhero situation. Saw uh, The Punisher... The End by Garth Ennis and Richard Corbin. Richard Corbin of heavy metal fame. Pretty influential figure. Still doing amazing work. Been in the business for a long time. I already have this issue of Marvel Comics Presents, but I picked it up because there is a Machine Man story in here. And Machine Man is my favorite Marvel character because he and I both have the same name, Aaron. There he is up there in the purple. Saw this back there and had to rescue it. I really like the artwork in this. I'm going to have to hunt down this guy. Or lady. Nico. Nico Henrikan. I'll have to look up what he or she is doing nowadays. This is probably my favorite looking Machine Man stuff, aside from the Barry Windsor Smith miniseries from all the way back in the 80s, which I had to buy the collected of and the single issues of because it came out, I think, before I was born. Picked up. Wolverine cover, some Adam Kubert artwork there, classic. And uh, this Ultimate X thing, I'm not, I think it's a relaunch of the Ultimate X Men again, but it has uh, Arthur Adams artwork on the inside. And Arthur Adams is one of the most influential uh, modern comic artists. Influenced uh, Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of people. It's kind of remarkable that they got him to do this. But I mean, an X-Men book is going to have high royalties, so I guess it makes sense that he would sign on for that and make some money. He should make the money. Alright. So that's a rundown of the comics that I picked up today from the Swigo Comic Shop. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my watercolors set up. Just got this little koi watercolor thing. I think I picked this up from AC Moore a while ago. Just set the little palette right there. Got all like colors. The thing I like about watercolor is there's no waste. The stuff that I just leave out, I can just use some a water in the brush to reactivate it and put it right back into the artwork. But I'm going to put it up here for a minute because I think that I'm actually going to annoy Martin and well maybe not annoy him but meet his expectations that I should put pink and yellow into my artwork so I think what's gonna happen here is Wesley's gonna be DJing with a pink record with a little yellow uh, label on the center we're gonna use some of this really vibrant stuff Check in on the old stream here. I know we're on a different day, so maybe not everybody knows we're here. Which is fine. Chance to be a little bit more experimental. playing some of my original music because that way when this gets posted up on YouTube there will be no copyright claims because I made it
little hiccups here and there? Is it just stuttering a little bit? Hello, James Norse. Welcome. I'm watching the stream on my iPad and it looks like it is it is lagging a little bit. Is the audio clear? to do with our internet. Our internet has not been great these last few days. Working out some technical difficulties.
just gonna go in and do some highlights and fix up some stuff with this deleter white. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know, I feel like that looks pretty done. You know, let's sign it and then we'll think about it and we'll cha make changes if we want to. Not too shabby. Thanks, everybody. I like compliments. Compliments are good. Alright. So now we've got some extra time. I don't know how much that was going to take. I've got about 20 minutes left. I wonder what trouble I can get into in 20 minutes. Here's the image that I lightboxed this from the other day. There's another piece of watercolor paper. Tape that sucker up there. Let's
What time are we at? We are at 4.03. Did another one of these Q&A art streams. Once again, I'm Aaron Z. Lee. You can find me at on uh, Instagram at Pens and Pedals. Or you can check out my stuff at PensandPedals.com. I uh, just got Port City Copy Center printed West of the Robot number 3. Available at the Oswego Comic Shop for just 5 bucks. So if you're interested in that, come on down and check it out. I also have my Priest's Pizza Son of a Pizza Man Collected Edition. The human son of a living pizza man has to save the Northeast from evil anchovies. I think we're going to change the date of when I do these streams to Thursday. I think it just works out better. This is my original character, Was It the Robot, here. This may be, I like this a lot, this might be the cover to issue number four out in October. So, finish this up today with some watercolor, with some uh, brush pens at the end there to get those black lines to pop. And I just started goofing around a little bit with some Wolverine here at the end. Got into a little bit of trouble in these last 20 minutes. Not too bad. Maybe we'll pick up next week with this character. I kind of liked doing a little bit looser, like just doing the sketches right on the stream and not thinking about it too much. That was kind of fun. All right. Get that set up back there. So once again, I'm Aaron Z. Lee. You can find my stuff at Pens and Pedals on Instagram, pensandpedals.com. My comics are at the Oswego Comic Shop right now, so if you're interested in getting those, head on down there or message them. Um... If you're thinking about making comics, get started right now. Buy, uh, buy more comics, read more comics, make more comics. All right, I'll catch you next week, Thursday.